This segment brought to you by SureCrop, liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. We're back. Now Dwayne is visiting with Sarah Place from Alango Animal Health. Dwayne Tames, joining you once again on the program. Our opportunity to catch up with Sarah Place with Elanco Animal Health. Talking about sustainability, Sarah, certainly we think about uh, the beef cattle industry. They have a positive story to tell, and maybe we haven't done as good a job with consumers as we probably should have. Yeah, so sustainability, I think it's always good to kind of take a step back. You know, really, what does it mean? It's about, you know, producing a safe, nutritious food product, right, with economic viability, environmental stewardship, social responsibility, right, and, and being committed to improving over time. And really, that's that ethos of improving over time is evident in the U.S. beef industry. There's been a lot of progress that's been made, a lot of science and, and dedication that's gone into doing a better job over time. Talk about uh, the realities of the industry and converting uh, what is an unusable product uh, for most humans into a great nutrient-dense protein product. Yeah, really, that's that's kind of the advantage of cattle and other ruminant animals, cattle, sheep, and goats, our farm animals, is they can upcycle protein. And what we mean by that is taking human inedible plants, stuff that we can't eat, right, the grass, the hay, silages, you know, fermented feed, and turning that into a higher value product in the form of beef, right? Um, and not just value in terms of our eating experience of it, but from a nutritional perspective, right? It is a high quality protein that meets a lot of our needs. Uh, and it also has a whole bunch of micronutrients in it too, from vitamin B12 to iron and zinc. And that's that's kind of that advantage again of, of ruminant animals is they really do, in a lot of cases, take something and make nothing and make, make something of higher value. There's been a lot of news and information out there about uh, the carbon cycle, the uh, ozone, uh, the environment. Uh, some numbers out there that I guess the, the cattle industry and, and agriculture in general really would, would say aren't fair to those producers. Yeah, so I think sometimes there's a lot of statistics that get thrown out there in the media, and it can be confusing to know what's true and what's not. So it's always good to take a step back and just look at the official data, right? So if we look at the EPA data, the government inventory for greenhouse gas emissions, 2% of U.S. greenhouse gas emissions come from beef cattle. So any of the the methane they belch out, so it's a good thing for viewers to know, right? It's cow burps, not cow farts, right? Keep that in your mind. And uh, it's about, again, 2% of emissions. All of animal agriculture, so all uh, cattle, dairy cattle, uh, you know, sheep, um, uh, all of our poultry and pork, it's all about 4% of emissions. So it's not nothing, but it's good to keep that in perspective. As If you compare to transportation, it's about 26%, 27%. Electricity is almost 30% of our emissions. So there's a big difference there in terms of the relative importance of agriculture versus those other sectors of our economy. Uh, we're thinking about that. Uh, at the same time, it's providing a, a food source uh, and uh, certainly is a contributor. But in the big picture of things, when you think about the value that we get uh, nutritionally from it, uh, then it kind of puts things back in perspective. Absolutely, right? So cattle cattle provide food. They provide sustenance. They provide more than food, right? You know, they're providing uh, all these other byproducts that we get from cattle, from leather, right, to pharmaceuticals, uh, to manure, which is a valuable resource, right, for producing crops. So um, that's the beauty of agriculture is if we, we kind of talk about, you know, green green energy or green aspects of our economy, and agriculture really has been the original green part of our economy, right? It's all about nutrient cycling and about trying to, to recycle nutrients through that system. And that's why livestock and, again, cattle as ruminants are so valuable. And ultimately, uh, that term sustainability – uh, there's a lot of different people out there with different views on what the parameters are that make that up. It's important to know where they're coming from. Yeah, absolutely. Like that, like I said earlier, everybody kind of agrees, you know, it's got to be about economic, social issues, environmental issues. But where it gets sticky is, well, which one do you prioritize most, right? So everybody's got their different views. And I think that's what's important is to recognize that doesn't mean anybody's right or wrong. It's just we all have different values that we're bringing to the table. Um, and so hopefully people realize it's going to be a conversation, a two-way conversation. Just the whole point is just to keep it respectful and to, to just highlight, you know, what what we've done that's good in terms of improving and where our opportunities are to keep improving in the future. Our thanks to Sarah Place with the Lanco Animal Health joining us on the program. Jamie, we'll send it back to you. Thanks, Dwayne. Come back after the break and meet one of Kansas Farm Bureau's Farm Families of the Year. 